The Dick Hauser Trophy is college baseball's equivalent of college football's Heisman Trophy. Richard Dalton Hauser, or known as Dick Hauser, was a Major League Baseball shortstop coach and manager best known as the manager of the Kansas City Royals and guided them to their first World Series in 1985. He unfortunately died in 1987 of brain cancer and the award was created to represent the best player each year in college baseball. Baseball News Club presents every winner the Dick Hauser Trophy. Hi, my name is Chris. Please subscribe and follow, like, and comment on the video. Now the Dick Hauser Trophy represents the best player every year in college baseball. So this video, we're going to go over every single player. However, we're not going to go deep into the background of every player until the last 10 players, and then we're going to highlight them a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get started. The first person to win the award in 1987 was Mike Fiore. He played for the Miami Hurricanes, won a College World Series, only played in the minors. 1988, you should know this name, Robin Ventura, extremely celebrated college player, played for Oklahoma State. He was a Cowboy. 1989, Scott Bryant. He was a Texas Longhorn, won a College World Series, no major league time. 1990 was Alex Fernandez. He was a pitcher. He had an okay career, not really that great, but he helped the Florida Marlins win the World Series for the first time. 1991 was Frank Rodriguez out of Howard College. Really didn't do anything. Um, poor major league career. Then in 1992 and 93, the only player to ever win the Dick Hauser Trophy twice was Brooke Kishnick. Okay, as we move on, these players will go without introduction pretty much. 1994 was Jason Veritek, a catcher from Georgia Tech. And then 1995 was Todd Helton. We all know him from the Colorado Rockies. He was from Tennessee. 1996 was Chris Benson out of Clemson. He won the award, had a poor major league career. 1997, J.D. Drew. We all know him. Florida State, phenomenal college player. Uh, arguably a poor major league career, but we actually have a video with him coming up. 1998 went to Eddie Furness from LSU. He had a poor major league career as a pitcher. Then we have Jason Jennings out of Baylor in 1999. Year 2000, Mark Texaria from Georgia Tech. 2001, Mark Pryor from Southern California. 2002, Khalil Green. 2003, Ricky Weeks. 2004, Jared Weaver. 2005, we all know this name from Nebraska, Alex Gordon. And then 2006, Brad Lincoln from Houston. 2007, David Price from Vanderbilt. 2008, Buster Posey from Florida State. 2009, Steven Strasburg from San Diego State. Go Aztecs. 2010, Anthony Rendon. He played for Rice University, Rice Owls baseball team. We all know Anthony. Won a World Series with the Washington Nationals. Signed a big old contract with the Angels. He is a baller. 2011, Taylor Jungman from the Texas Longhorns. Kind of had a rough go at it. He's playing for the Milwaukee Brewers for a little bit. And then in 2018, to pursue an opportunity in Japan, he signed with the Yamira Giants of Nippon Professional Baseball. He re-signed in 2018, then became a free agent in 2019. 2020, he signed a minor league deal with the Texas Rangers. And then 2020, late 2020, he's playing for the Sugarland Skeeters of the Constellation Energy League. So hopefully he'll make it up to the big show soon again. 2012 Dick Hauser Trophy Award winner was Mike Zunino from the University of Florida. He is a Gator. He also, during his junior year, won the Golden Spikes Award, the Johnny Bench Award. He did very well as a player for the Florida Gators. In 2011, he hit 371 for them. In 2012, he hit 322. He was selected by the Seattle Mariners in 2012, and now he plays for the Tampa Bay Rays. 2013 winner, somebody we're all familiar with, Chris Bryant. He currently plays with the Chicago Cubs. He played at the University of San Diego. Chris won the award and the Golden Spikes Award. He was actually All-American in 2012-2013. Then he comes up to the Major Leagues, wins the Rookie of the Year in 2015, wins the National League MVP the next year in 2016 and won a World Series with the Cubs. He's only been in the National League six years with a lot more to come from him. 2014 winner was A.J. Reed. He attended the University of Kentucky, so he's a wildcat. While he was at Kentucky, he was considered one of the best two-way players in college baseball. His junior year, he hit 336, led the nation with home runs with 23, won the Golden Spikes Award, Dick Hauser Trophy, 
but unfortunately his professional career his college success has not transferred on over he struggled playing with the Houston Astros going up and down into the minor leagues the major leagues and then unfortunately in 2020 he announced his retirement at the age of 26. Then 2015 picked for Boston Red Sox was Andrew Benintendi he actually played for the University of Arkansas Razorbacks baseball team and was pretty phenomenal if you look at his track record and how he got to the major leagues he was pretty much fast tracked he was playing for Arkansas in 2014 where he hit 276 and then 2015 he hit 376 for Arkansas then 2015 he played some minor league ball for the Boston Red Sox and then 2016 he was called up and played 97 games and hit 312 and ever since then he's been a great player for the Boston Red Sox 2016 winner the Dick Hauser Award went to Seth Beer from the Clemson Tigers baseball team. Now you have to figure with the last name Beer is probably pretty popular in college. However, he was drafted in the 2018 Major League Draft by the Houston Astros. He's been in the minor league since then and then he was traded by Houston to the Arizona Diamondbacks in July of 2019. So hopefully in 2021 we're going to see Seth up in the Major League swinging the bat for the Diamondbacks. 2017 award winner was Brendan McKay. He played for the Louisville Cardinals baseball team, University of Louisville. Now McKay is a very fascinating player. He is a two-way player when he played at Louisville. He won the Golden Spikes Award along with the Dick Hauser Trophy. Then the Tampa Bay Rays selected him fourth overall in the 2017 Major League Draft. And he's played in the minor leagues for most of 18 and 19 for the Montgomery Biscuits and the Durham Bulls. Then on June of 2019, the Tampa Bay Rays selected McKay's contract and promoted him to the major leagues. His debut was against the Texas Rangers, and he actually took a perfect game into the sixth inning. And then he hit his first major league home run against the Boston Red Sox on September 22nd. He missed the beginning of 2020 season after testing positive for COVID. And then he had some shoulder issues, so he missed the entire 2020 season, but expect to see him in uniform in the major leagues in 2021. 2018 winner goes to Brady Singer. He went to the University of Florida, so he's a Gator. He had very good success as a Gator, winning the College World Series against LSU Tigers, and he's actually named to the All-Tournament team. 2018, he was Pitcher of the Year, posting the most wins with a 12-3 record. The Kansas City Royals picked him in the 2018 Major League Draft. He played minor league ball in 2019 with the Williamton Blue Rocks and the Arkansas Naturals. Then at the beginning of the 2020 season, he made his debut against the Cleveland Indians, and he's been pitching in the major leagues ever since then. We definitely will be seeing him in 2021. Now, before we reveal the Dick Hauser Trophy Award winner for 2019, I'm going to need you to subscribe and follow. Now, keep in mind, because of COVID, there was no 2020 winner. The 2019 Dick Hauser Award winner went to Adley Rutschman. He actually was drafted by the Seattle Mariners in 2016. He declined and attended Oregon State University. He is a beaver, and man, this guy can hit. He's a switch-hitting catcher, very decorated catcher. He batted 408 in 2018 as a sophomore, and he also helped the Beavers win a College World Series. He set the record for hits, and then also in his junior year, he hit 411. The guy can flat-out rake the ball. He's won the Golden Spikes Award, Buster Posey Award, He's just a great player and then in 2019 he was selected by the Baltimore Orioles and he played in the Gulf Coast League and the Aberdeen Ironbirds. Now while playing at Aberdeen he hit 325 so most likely we're going to see him in 2021 and definitely 2022. He's an amazing talent. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.